Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are out in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids. All these ones that I've just shown you out in the wilds of space. I can't zoom out for some reason. Okay, Star Map doesn't want to zoom out. But we've got all of these asteroids. We've got all these asteroids. Oh, it did it. It, it. it zoomed out a little bit. I'm not I'm not sure what's going on. We've got all these asteroids out in space, and we have got 16 duplicates trying to make their way into the future as comfortably as possible. One of the things we're trying to do for that comfortable future is to get our nuclear setup up and running. Unfortunately, the place that we rely on for all our metals, Blagolia, this has been a... a serious foundational bedrock to our society. Over here we make aluminium, we make cobalt, we make uh, so much gold. We've got one gold volcano there, we've got another one down here, we've got one that we're just ignoring because the gold output is just a little bit too high. But unfortunately, unfortunately, we've been running most of our power systems off of these two natural gas geysers. And as you can see, one has gone dormant and the power systems that we have to back this up are kind of not keeping up. As you, as you can see over here, our steam turbines are not even firing uh, for geothermal and our batteries are dead i'm not I'm not sure why that's the case, actually, to be honest. Let's let's take a moment to investigate. Okay, so it is currently actually warming up. This is said, hey, we're not hot enough. Close the door, try and turn the temperature up. Uh, this one over here also says it's not hot enough and thus has not let the steam turbines turn on. We've got to wait for the temperature to make its way all the way across. I don't know why I turned this on. You can't see any te temperature difference between one side and the other here, though it is 260 at one side and a mere 196 at the other. So, so the reason that this is not working is because we're just waiting for the heat to dissipate across. Not ideal, if I'm to be honest with you. And another not ideal situation here is our aluminium volcano. This got set up and it kind of just got thrown onto the uh, the cooling loop that we use for the rest of the base here. This might not be ideal. Uh, I, I've, I've started to realise that this makes enough heat of, uh, heat energy that we could throw on a couple of steam turbines. I'm just going to actually put two of these up high for now. Uh, we could throw a couple of steam turbines on, put an aqua tuner down there to cool everything off. Maybe not even need that. Maybe we just need to cool with this cooling line these thermal, uh, these steam turbines, and then we could just fill this area with steam and let the aluminium self-cool itself, self-regulate. I think that might be a winner. Uh, we could put a, uh, a liquid lock over this side. In fact, it almost looks like we're set up to do one already. Is it something like this? Uh, we would like put down some put down some petroleum here maybe enough to fill up all three tiles if we can leaving ourselves a little bit of a vacuum that would be ideal i might just build a block down below but until our duplicates come along to do such things we are kind of just sat waiting i'm going to turn this bottle open it's right here i want to put it let's uh, let's deconstruct that ladder we're going, to, we're going to start working on this and of course let's just take a moment to pay homage to the rover the little guy that got here and did all the work to start this base up and running concurrently with all of this I am also going to be trying to start compacting down the mag- Oh, it's happened. It's happened. They've come along. They've built some stuff. Uh, try and compact down the magma over here. I want to try and get all of this down and into the machine. Looks like that's actually uh, ample time to be doing so. And I was kind of hoping we could come through and break all of this apart. And on here we go. Thou nuclear rock. We will be trying to move the bees further down and into the uranium. Just to let you know all the different things that I'm going to be trying to do whilst everything is together kicking over and of course trying to get the pug slug farm up and running properly like we could have a whole nother hydrogen generator providing power here oh look at this it's all it's all starting to go well uh, that's mostly because of our small solar plant i should imagine Another thing I need to do is start sealing in this tank so I can replace all the tiles, ideally with insulated tiles, because we want some gulp fries in here. As you can see, all our gulp fries have just slowly but surely not been reproducing as gulp fries because the temperature is too high. It needs the, the water here needs to be below 5 degrees, and that is never, ever going to happen when there's bedrooms down here at 27, 30 degrees. So uh, we're going we're gonna to insulate it all from the rest of the world. Another thing 
thing that I'm going to do is we come over to reverse, and I've said for a while now, and now might be the time to make it happen, that it's time to uh, to drop this magma. Uh, let's, let's get in there. Let's get Rutherford up there. Let's make it happen. I think Rutherford's going to go to the dig anyway. That's good. There's not a great... Uh, there's lots of oxygen in there. That's uh, very interesting. That's going to be interesting when it busts its way out of there. In the same way that I'm still intrigued as to where all this carbon dioxide came from. I have no idea. Somehow it squeaked its way up and past. Uh, let's turn on just gases here. Look, here's the carbon dioxide. It's gone up and through here. I'm surprised these two haven't also. Maybe there's been some sort of like corner um, magic going on. That that happens in, in this game. Corners are a bit all weird. Uh, but I'm hoping that we can dig this out and let this all flow down this way. And then when we got rid of the magma, we'll dig through maybe up here and dig this bit out from from some safety that that would be ideal is from some safety uh we're gonna ask for that uh, I, I don't know because i don't know how far away they are going to be when they perform these dig orders and that that's one of the things to worry about if they're too close and the magma fl flows all over them uh then then they get really hot you know <laughs> All right, last couple to go here. I'm also going to ask for these to be super high priority. I don't know whether they need to be or not. I feel like Rutherford's going to be appropriately not in the way there. But one clears some space. Two should now let it flow. Uh, maybe I should take these two out down here as well at some point. I don't know where you're going, Rutherford. We're going to need you later. But look at the way it just flows down over all these other materials, all the other magma that we've got right down here. Uh, and it should very, very gently. You can watch it flow. You can literally watch where the, the front of, of density is up to. Uh, and it comes to here and then should be relatively shortly flowing over the top of this copper. In fact, there is a lot of copper in here. Uh, but we'll We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, we should be able to get more magma out of here as well. Can we can we zoom out? I think zooming out and watching this might be a plan. Okay, that was kind of good, but we, we, we know we can do better, right? We know we can do better. Let's go up here and maybe across this way. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to need these to be super high priority. And then we should be able to get in and dig these out. Now, no one's going to be able to do that until we get up here. And maybe even we're going to need another ladder uh, some, somewhere like here to make this bottom block disappear. I would like to get all of them in one go, if at all possible. But trying to ask people to build ladders over here might be a bit troublesome. Wait, did I did I just melt a tile here? Everything, maybe it was pressure? I don't know, but I've asked for it to be made out of obsidian this time, as everything around it is made out of granite. I suppose these are made out of obsidian. Uh, hope, hopefully I didn't just melt a tile. I'm not sure how I would have, but that's... This is something that we've never had troubles with before. Wow. Wow. Anyway, over here, we should be getting a little bit closer. Franklin's doing it. Okay, wonderful. To be able to uh, dig all of this stuff out here. Where are you going now, Franklin? Construction supply. I hope it's this construction supply. But there's obsidian right here, so I'm not sure how it would be. No, she actually wants to work on this ladder. Okay, fair enough. I suppose we need Rutherford to dig? Yeah. Yeah, here he is. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I, I guess that's fine. I didn't want a good move to. What, what are you on about? I want to follow Cam. Let's follow him. The reason I've asked for this ladder to be put in place is so that we can reach down and dig this one down here before we dig the other two out and get a get a good idea of the flow. Oh, I didn't didn't realize we we're going to be dropping sand there. That's good that it didn't drop all the way. That could have been a little bit awkward. It is actually a little bit awkward that we got little bits of magma hanging on here. No, I knew I shouldn't have. You know what? Actually, this top one doesn't matter. Uh, we're, we're, not, we're not here to like just dig out random things. We're here to dig out the things that are actually important. Okay, the beginning of the lava flow is here. Uh, dropping down in the form of just little droplets. I think we should be fine. The, uh, the, the tile has been put back into place as well. That's good. Alright, so this whole bit now is gonna just flow out. And whilst we zoom out, kick back and watch the hot liquids flow, I'd like to take a moment here and thank the hottest people I know. That's right, my patrons. Scroll up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can move on comfortably into the future. I really enjoy doing what I do here and having the uh, support and backing of all my patrons really does help out. So from the very, very bottom of my heart, I'm going to say thank you. Thank you so much.
Well, that was a little less dramatic background than I was expecting. Let's try and see if we can't turn this up a little bit. I was hoping it would just, you know, just flow, but that's not going to be the way. And then we kind of dig up. Let's go three wide up like that. Hopefully, we can reach all of this. This should be... Uh, a good excavation. How far are we through the day? I, th I think we could be like, hey, Rutherford, come and do this lot, please. I don't know how much he's going to get going. Uh, we could just kind of try and dig through here. But as you can see, magma doesn't flow all that far. I might even end up trying to dig some of this stuff out now that we've got a set of ladders so close by. And we can drop stuff down. Oh, Franklin's doing it. Okay, that's interesting. We're going to have to do something similar over here. I'm not even sure how we're going to get down. I could ask my duplicates to come down and round. We'd probably have have to end up setting up a new set of ladders over here but we could wrap these ones down for the materials Franklin, unfortunately, why she's great at building, does not have any uh, digging skills. At least definitely not enough to uh, to get her through the obsidian. And I believe here she is right here. Yeah, no digging skills whatsoever. We could probably give her some digging skills, but I um, I don't think I'm going to do that. She she gets sent into some pretty hairy situations and that, that can lead to some stress. And being, having too much required of you brings extra stress. I've, I've heard this in the past. Okay, here's the man himself to do some digging. We've got about a third of a cycle left to uh, to get some of this done. Scolding too, Spitzer and Plank. Why is Plank scolding? And also, why is Spitzer... Wait, wait, wait. Why, why would Spitzer be scolding? I don't know. He's in a cold area. Why would he be scolding? Normally, it's because they're carrying something hot. But I don't... I don't know why anything down here would get you hot. Maybe the, does the uranium warm you up? No, that's radiation poisoning. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All right, Rutherford, how are we doing over here? Uh, we can't quite reach that far over. That is mildly disappointing. Okay, but it looks like we're going to have to do the top one first and then try and do... No, that's not how I want to do it. That's not how I want to do it at all. I'm going to have to ask him to build this one as soon as possible. Look, Spitzer again. Why? What's hot? Ah, okay. It's it's the old case of the abyssalite is somehow actually hot, despite the fact that it's supposed to be completely non-conductive to heat. I, I never understand how it gives us heat, but th this is fine. This this is actually manageable as long as Spitzer can get fixed. Where 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 do I end up putting this triage cot? Spitzer, go 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 spend some time in. I'm gonna put big inverted commas up in hospital. Okay, let's let's dig these out first and foremost. Looks like I'm probably going to have to dig this line out as well at some point. We're going to have a whole bunch of magma here. Uh, and then when he does those, I think we, we could probably just do with digging those ones out. But uh, we'll, we'll see whether Rutherford can actually reach around there or not. That's the main thing. Starvation Spitzer. There's more than enough food over there. It, it's got to be down to... Oh, run! Run, Rutherford, run! I'm, I'm glad whatever it was made him run must be need, need for food or something. Well, we're probably going to have to bust in and break this open. If we could come down here and push some tiles in amongst all of this magma and start pushing it over. I'd also like to take, as I say, a lot of this stuff out as and when Rutherford can get to it. But, you know, he's not even dug this stuff yet. So uh, that might take some time. One problem we do appear to be having is there's a, an excess of oxygen in here. 5 grams, 8 grams, 32 grams. Okay, so it, it's... A fair amount, if I'm to be honest. Shall we open up... Oh, do we open up these doors and let all of this gas out as well? We are keeping a, a gas lock here, a laughably, because it may or may not actually be working. So getting all these gases out of here probably would be a good idea. And then we can do things such as pu punch a hole in here. Well, they, they used This used to be open, as you can tell by the ladder. But too many duplicates carried on trying to walk through the magma. It wasn't, wasn't about it. Uh, okay. Boar coming along to do the work here. Is he going to do both? I sure do hope so. We'll put this back onto five. We'll put this back onto five. Uh, Boar, before you go, wait, 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 before you go, deconstruct that, will you? Please. Thank you. We'll see if this lack of um, atmosphere will let the the magma flow. I, I kind of feel like probably not because there's not not that much right here in this one. 
I'm expecting the surface igloo, the surf glue, if you will, to open up, uh, to vacuum out first, because there's two blocks here and there's only one block wide here. So I'm expecting that the oxygen can escape faster than it can be fed in. Indeed, like this is one, one gram, shall we say, up here and down here we've got five. So that's quite the difference. Uh, yeah, I, I'll be keeping an eye on that and just seeing what happens. But we have not really encouraged the magma to flow, which is unfortunate. Another way we're going to start encouraging the magma to flow is to finally make our way across this way. It's been some time since we laid out the tiles for this. I do, of course, want to get the oxalite completely encased if we can handle it. Hey, hey, Franklin, how's it going? Uh, and so we'll do one tile at a time to move the uh, move the sandstone tiles across. And then we're going to try and make our way, maybe through the abyssalite, up to here, where we're going to start making tiles, corner building our way across, much like we've been doing over here here i should probably start thinking about taking some extra tiles out here as well and start compacting this magma down it's it's time to get rid of it uh on blagolia let's see how things are going over here now we've got steam up there that's good uh I, I, what i really want to check actually is whether the water is a comfortable temperature all around mostly no one's built anything here yet no one's even ripped this ladder down Let, let's uh let's let's get this done drop a pitcher pump just here and now we're going to realize that we uh have no uh petroleum here uh we, we we have no oil here either so the question is what oh look Oh, they're, they're, these are my general liquids. I was like, wait, we've got 900 kilograms? No, 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 it, that, that lies to me. So what are we going to use for our liquid lock here? Something that is steam resistant. Polluted water, unfortunately, is not going to uh, cut it. With 120 degrees, we need to get up to at least 150, but I like to run at 200 for the steam turbines to work. So we, we need to fire a liquid across here that we can use. So if I set up this interplanetary launcher to Blagolia, we should be able to somehow get some liquids pumped into there. Uh, I've got petroleum down here. Do I also have somewhere where we can clear out petroleum? I mean, technically, but it's not very good at its job. Okay, there's two things I'm going to try here that are just absolutely insane. Oh, Franklin's coming along to pick up Obsidian and deliver it right there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's get her to do the insane thing quick. Come on, Franklin, let, let's do this. You're, you're already quite well damaged. I'm going to be ready on the council. Okay, there we go. And that didn't get the magma flowing. Wait... Let, let's get her back. Franklin's like, no, no, I'm not doing that again. Okay, fair enough. We'll try it with someone else in the morning. And Franklin, you, you know what? I think I need to get you uh, into this triage cot here with, with the pips. Oh dear, I've just found... I was getting a little warning about toilets, and I was like, everything's fine on Pyaxlin. The, the water is flowing, nothing's backed up, what's problem? Um, and that made me realise some, something's wrong somewhere. So I started cycling through, Maxwell's asleep, uh, Rubin's asleep, Von Braun isn't for some reason. But more importantly, Curie, ah, she's gonna got stuck up here right by my, my really weird thing that we got here. Let, let, let's go like that and then move you just anywhere curie should now wake up and instantly fall asleep all right fine well she she could just rescue herself in the morning i suppose i just don't don't want her to deal with a full bladder in the morning you know uh, i i'm hoping that this is a high enough priority that it overrides her need to wet herself <laughs> that that may or not yeah she's she's dreaming of the toilet that's that's not ideal that's not ideal this by the way is my absolutely um inspired we're gonna go with inspired way of get moving the liquids around i've got somewhere where i can dump petroleum so i'm just gonna pick it up with the bottle emptier what these, these auto saves are getting quite ridiculous now all right curie go go to the toilet go 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 are you gonna make it without yeah she's complaining look there's one right here there's one right here and made it great what what a, what a little drama what a little drama uh but we're going to pick up petroleum from from like here i'm gonna i'm gonna reconnect this this liquid vent uh, in fact i'm gonna do this right oh that's not the right button 
Gonna do this right now. We're gonna we're gonna pump some petroleum in there. It's gonna be kind of warm. Uh, this is 80 degrees, 70 degrees. That, that's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, and then we're gonna transport it up to this little system over here. When when Curie's like, yeah, I'll build it. Uh, we've got some liquid nuclear waste there. I have no idea how I made that. Uh, I'm assuming a duplicate got hit in the face right there and it fell down. That that's really the only thing I can think of. Not the most straightforward route, but it'll do. I haven't been able to get up here and rip all this out. I've got I would have to take one of these down to put a ladder up. There's a ladder here, but I can't I can't access it. Maybe if we put another ladder here, we could jump up and across. I don't know. Oh, we, we have a firing. We have a firing. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. What are we firing? We're firing uh, plastic and steel towards Irigal. Or Blagodia. Let, let's double check. This guy here going to Irigal. Aragal, of course, where we're trying to build the nuclear reactor, where everything's just kind of slowed down whilst we make some materials. <laughs> okay, we've got petroleum going in. I've turned on the radiation lamp. That's still on priority top, just despite the fact that it's already been changed. We're making 93 red bolts per cycle. That's pretty good. That's a, a good couple of firings. Uh, like, I like to think about about 100 per cycle each, so that's 200 per cycle. That should keep us rolling. We are unfortunately out of uranium ore. I might need to, uh, to get up here and dig some out somehow. I don't know why these tiles are here. Maybe I filled them in whilst we were doing this, but I, I feel like I should be able to just make my way down under here like so, and then build a small set of ladders up here to start our next uranium mine here on the wonderful world of Pyaxlin. When is this gonna fire? Oh no, I'm gonna hang around until it does though. Only cost 30 rad bolts to send liquids. Really? Okay, or is it the distance? It might be the distance. This guy going to Irigal, 50 rad bolts. Here going to Begolia, 30. Yeah, may maybe, maybe that distance. All right, first petroleum delivery away. No doubt we're gonna be interrupted by the autosave. But with that little packet out and away, look, there it goes, there it goes. 55 seconds. Look how close it is. Just two tiles. Well, the inclusion of such hot materials really has caused some troubles back here. Thankfully, all the petroleum now inside. Ready to go for another 200 when these guys fire out their next rad bolts. That's all good. Let's go back over to Magolia because, of course, this is what we needed this for. They've still not built the bot yet. But none of this has been built. Why, why, what is they doing? They've not even ripped this down. There is literally no spare labor here at all, is there? Okay, it took some bullying, but we've got some insulated tiles up and around the box, and already the water is starting to lose just little bits of temperature here and there. We were at like 22 all the way across, and now we've got 21s and 20s in places. This machine seems to be working much better without destroying itself, and the liquids are doing a good job of cooling. Oh, what? Why, why are you scolding? You're carrying hot material. You're carrying glass. I, I mean, yeah, fair enough. But why, why are you carrying the raw glass? 300 degrees, dude. He's sending it through the box. Okay. Yeah. Maybe we could automate that. It looks like I've been thinking about it. Ah, uh, this is the refined carbon. Maybe we could then carry on past with the glass and go up into here. Hmm. I'm glad Rutherford's in a good mood because we're about to send him in to mop up the copper. It, I'm fairly sure it's the thing stopping the flow of liquids come down here. Uh, I, I'm hoping so anyway. Rutherford, no stranger. Uh, you know what? That's that's fine. It's all just magma now. Uh, no stranger to getting a little bit warm there. Let's then put this on. Hopefully he'll grab himself a little bit of obsidian. Don't try and make this from the inside. Let's move you back outside. Uh, and then hopefully making this. I'm a little bit worried about how much temperature. Let's have a look. This uh, 28, 25 degrees. And then it's 28, 25 degrees. Okay, just that one, one little pass through a tiny amount of carbon dioxide. Milligrams, in fact, isn't the thing stopping it. And there we go. The, the liquid doth flow once more. Well, this is unusual. Somehow, this insulated pipe here has also met. We had a lot of random melting um, situations here. And I don't know what's causing it, if I'm to be honest with you. Do we have a spare exosuit? I, d I believe we do somewhere. No, we don't. Okay, well, fair enough. Let's drop this one on the floor. Undock that. Let's give it to... Uh, where, where is she? 
give it to Franklin because she's probably the one who's going to be doing these jobs. Oh, it's actually Rutherford. Okay, well, let, let, let's see that happen. Uh, and then we join this back up. That, that's what we want. We don't want granite. Let, let's, I, I believe I've got a better material right here. We're going to make it out of ceramic. Let's see if we can't get these done really quick. Okay, here comes Boar. I'm really tempted to give him the suit, but let's just hope that he can get in there and do it. Don't do that. Just get, get this one thing done. Or not. Okay. Uh, here comes Rutherford. Maybe he's going to get this thing done. That would be good. That nobody, nobody likes hanging out in here, it turns out. I mean, that is fair. Plank can also... Yeah, if you both get the building up done at the same time, that would be very handy. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's get all this picked up if we can. Oh, we've got stuff flashing into different states. Let's forget all of this. Let's get Plank out. Oh, wait. Plank out... Okay, tiles are being made as we talk. This should hopefully have closed this system down just a little bit. We've got some heating damage going on again, but that's to be expected as things out here are pretty hot. It's going to be hard to get the water back in here. That That's an issue. This is very painful to watch. Like, very, very painful. I don't even know if there's if this is, like, fixing it. Is this fixing it? Is this fine? I don't know. I just don't know. Okay, the plan as it stands is pretty bad. I've just put in a whole bunch of pipe network here to steal liquids from this tube. Doesn't look like it wants to do it. Uh, because we have re rehooked up this one down here. Let's see which way this needs to go to, to add on. Uh, so if we do that, it'll add both. Okay, that's good. Then let's come up here and figure out why this isn't doing this. I bet it's because I've gone the wrong way. If I do that and then break this, is that going to start working like this instead looks like it okay let's see if we can't get this full of liquids again <laughs> do i have an even simple understanding of why this tile melted and then suddenly everything overheated no no i i actually do not have a clue i do notice that some of these tiles are a lot hotter than others and i'm not sure how the temperature got into them if i'm to be honest with you uh we need to just fill up all of these blocks here i'm not sure how much is too much you know at what point have i have i filled this up so much that it won't turn anymore i think somewhere around there might be the point let's let's leave this like this oh, it turns out we could do with some more turns out we could do with some more let's let's pop that back let's get a little bit more in here one two blobs let's see if that's enough do we see any more or oh, many more breaks in the line no i think i think that's it i think that's now perfect so now we want to come down here and break this one and uh we're, we're gonna worry about the fact that we might have too much water in here Okay, I'm going to choose to deal with this by dumping all the liquids down here. Is this going to pass across? Let's uh, just break that line there. And then we should be able to go, hey, give us a little bit more water out of there if we could, please. Yeah, there we go. I don't know how much we're going to need, but at some point, they're both going to start flowing again. Let's see if that's good enough to get everything moving. Uh, no, no, it was not. So we'll let that go again and see what we can get going okay everything's moving again we've left a gap ah uh, is, is there really a gap in it they've connected together and no no okay looks like there's only one stop in the whole system so let's try and drop one more out of here like that and then hopefully when the the gap meets the stop here it comes around here this is gonna stop that's gonna stop these meet each other and i mean maybe half a blob too much this is interesting. So if we take one bubble out and see how this does, there's the, the, the meat together. We now got half a bubble. I I don't know. I don't know. No, it's still still stopping. Okay, back on Blagonia. I think we're ready for the takeover. Let's try and get people to uh, to drop all the petroleum we've got in here, though. Whilst we do have a vacuum and it's quite nice, I'd really like that blob to be up somewhere around... What is going... Oh, I thought they were taking out the rover. No, there's just a puff in the background that needs to be uh, dealt with, shall we say. Uh, so now, can, can people get in there? It's going to be hot, but we're going to try and start pumping this area out. We're going to start with this smaller area here. Hopefully, we can pump this 
this out pretty quickly. As you can see, we're already starting to pull vacuums. Uh, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna take the airlock down, make the stuff ripping down some of these tiles, uh, make this place a little bit nicer. I do also have a uh, a cooling loop um, bypass set up here. In fact, I want to be able to completely bypass this. So if we come down here, uh, maybe set this pipe up. I hope, thankfully, this uh, this bridge will take priority until I rip the bridge down. Speaking of though, we're going to put one here and we're going to put one here and this is cooling for the radiant pipes up here. Uh, I also need to at some point once we open this up start getting basic things in like where we put the liquid vents. Okay, down to milligrams in there. Let's deconstruct this door. Let's deconstruct this tile. Let, let, let's just start ripping some things apart. I'm going to take all of these tiles down and we'll just have a straight across flow there. I think that should work out well. Goddard coming in. He's complaining that it's hot as well he would. It's, it's well, I mean, that, that lump of aluminium's best part of 300 degrees, 277 degrees. That's a lot. Okay, so we're rerouting the cooling from here and then I think we want to deconstruct this liquid bridge over here. This is going to make this this room a little bit warmer a little bit warmer but i think that's going to be okay in the end definitely want to get these uh, these last bits of power line put into place as well ideally we'd have all this done before this sorry we'd get this bridge broken before this makes its way all the way around we're gonna have a gap in the line i think we're okay with that now the reason that i had to get rid of all this in fact we're gonna get rid of all of this uh, is unfortunately because i need to run down some plumbing we, we need to get some liquid vents there and uh oh there <laughs> mm, i'm not sure about going in there whilst it's actively volcanoing um i i guess it's all right oh, i don't know where where's goddard you can just go stand over there for now uh, the reason god look, look, look how, how little health he's got but unfortunately he was inside swan levitt could you do this over here he was inside the hospital uh, unfortunately the, the to get anything done we needed to be an emergency an emergency is overwrite oh, in fact you know what it, it's already too much trouble emergencies overwrite hospital stuff but goddard didn't make it Go, Swan Levitt, go. I think we might need to swap this one over to Goddard just in case he dies of his injuries. I don't know if there's a countdown on the incapacitated, but they are both in trouble. So you, Goddard, and then Faraday up here. Hopefully Swan Levitt's now totally on that. Rescuing friend, beautiful. Who are you rescuing first? Faraday. Uh, this is not who I want you to rescue first, but okay. First one in bed. Hopefully that's good enough. Go, Swan Levitt, go. If he can get down and rescue you our friend here as well okay that's beautiful beautiful you're doing an incredible job incredible job this is also doing an incredible job um vacuuming this whole area out nice well, happy days. I've just fired this thing up and realised that my microphone wasn't recording whilst I was doing that. So, uh, welcome to the Aluminium Tamer. It's going pretty well, actually. Uh, we had a bunch of water coming from the natural gas geysers here. So, we dumped that on top of our Aluminium Volcano. Unfortunately, it was as it was erupting. So, the Auto Sweeper ended up taking uh, a blast of a thousand degree steam right to the face. But it was okay. Talking of the auto sweeper, it picks up stuff and puts it into this auto conveyor loader over here. That then puts items into this stream, which goes back and forth, goes past the conveyor thermo sensor. If it goes down below 170 degrees, it allows stuff to get just dumped on the floor here. Now, some of this is a little bit hard because it was the first stuff to come through. And of course, this stuff here um, has had a cooling. I did want to know whether... Yeah, okay, so these ones... This, this aluminium here, very, very over temperature. But I think we're doing okay. Ruben, you having troubles over here? I bet you're carrying hot stuff again. Well, it's some very hot petroleum that I bet you were just carrying. Oh, oh, look, talking of a, a very hot petroleum. Stop, stop, turn this off. <laughs> well, I mean, there, there we go. I, I fixed that problem, right? <laughs> As you can see, the temperature has been reached where everything's nice and chill. This is now stopped for the next stuff to get uh, cooled down. Uh, I've got a feeling there was some stuff there that was actually hotter, but I, I think we can live. I think we can live. We're, we're getting down to about 100 degrees. Von Braun now. Uh, this will be all of this stuff up here. They'll tidy it up. It will all be fixed, and then everything will be fine. But I think with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure 
ladies and gentlemen, today we managed to tame our aluminium volcano without actually putting excess stress on our cooling system over there. The uh, the steam turbines are getting chilled. Yeah, that's exactly where we think it's coming from. The, the steam turbines are being cooled down, but they're not being uh, exposed to excessive heating, so they're doing okay. The base should have capacity to keep it all cool. Next time we'll continue on our part, our nu nuclear path. We're really trying for the nuclears, but uh, it's going to take a bit of time to get set up. I mean, how many more of these can we build right now? It's not a great deal. Two, one, one. We can we can build one. Um, we need to build another four. That's why we've been uh, focusing over on Blagolia here. We've been getting ourselves a whole bunch of aluminium laid down, but more importantly, this has been producing power, which hopefully will get the Radbolt generators up and running a little bit faster. But I will see you guys next time when we're going to do all of that. Bye. Probably should have mentioned how nice this episode is.